Hi, in this video we're going to be comparing uh, the CCleaner cleanup app to the Windows storage cleanup. So we're going to see which is the way to go for cleaning up temporary files on your hard drive and getting some space back. So CCleaner used to be the go-to app, but then they had a problem with some uh, malware getting in there. But supposedly it's been resolved and so now it's safe to use again. And when I say the uh, Windows cleanup, the storage cleanup, I don't mean the disk cleanup, which you probably used to seeing back in the days because this is kind of pointless. It didn't do, do a whole lot, you know, except you, unless you wanted to, you know, clear out your recycle bin type of thing. You could do that manually. All right, so let's start with CCleaner here. So this is the free version. So it's pretty much the same as it's always been, just has a couple of new things like this health check and driver updater. But we're just going to be talking about cleanup. We're not going to be talking about the registry cleaner or any other tools, which are, you know, still there. So when you first open, it wants to run this health check. So if you click OK, then that runs it. And there's some pro options here if you have the pro version. So if we look at space, it found what was it, 200 and 186 megabytes, which is nothing. And here's where it found it. And then you can do the custom clean, of course. And then you have all your options here like you used to, you know, your Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer. Not sure why that's still there since Internet Explorer is gone. Well, I guess for if it's still in Windows 10, this is Windows 11. And then for Windows Explorer, you know, it's a lot of these things like clearing your recent documents. That's not going to get you any space back. It's just going to clear the history there. And then it's got all these main ones marked here. And then you could check some of these. But a lot of these are not going to help you as too much either. Maybe this optimization mm -hmm. files. We'll check that. Shortcuts aren't going to really help you get space back. Maybe some log mm -hmm. files. And of course, when you're going through these, make sure there's stuff you really want to delete. Because once you delete them, they're gone. And then event logs, no. Cache, cache, cache. You know, it's probably not going to be a whole lot of stuff. But we'll uh, check a couple of these just to see you get the most out of this. Okay, so let's click on Analyze and see what it finds here. This might take a minute. Okay, 403 megabytes. So after all, checking all these, and of course you have your applications, uh, but most of these are checked, and the stuff that's not is not going to get you any space back. All right, so 403. So let's run the uh, Windows Storage cleanup here. So you go to your Windows Settings, and go down to Storage. And then you want to find the temporary files. It'll look a little different in Windows 10, but you still want to look for temporary files. Click on that, and then it might take a minute to run. And now, so I already found four gigs right there, Windows Update Cleanup, if you want to get rid of your old Windows installations. So if you go to your C drive here, lots of times you'll have this Windows Old, so when Windows does a major update, it renames the Windows folder Windows Old, and then here's the current one, and it's usually safe to delete this, unless you plan on rolling back to the previous update, but you only have 10 days to do that, I believe, otherwise you can't do it again. Then, you know, if I wanted to delete my downloads folder, log files, all this other good stuff, recycle bins, unchecked by default. So even without checking the recycle bin and downloads, I still get 6.2 gigs compared to 480 megabytes in CCleaner, so this is finding stuff that CCleaner's not. So I always like to use this rather than CCleaner unless you want to use some of the other features for, you know, maybe the browser cleanup will work a little better in CCleaner because it'll do multiple browsers. And then if you want to do the registry cleanup, that kind of thing, which, you know, this Windows thing's not going to do. So it's up to you. If you, if you just want some storage cleanup to get your space back, you know, you probably don't even need to worry about CCleaner. You could just run the uh, uh, Windows storage cleanup and clean up your temporary files, and then you'll be getting quite a bit of space back. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.